let us discuss the sample space. What is sample space? Whenever we are doing a random experiment, that means this phenomena we are repeating in our lab, we know that all the outcomes of this phenomena. That random experiment whenever we are doing all possible outcomes of a phenomena or random phenomena or random experiment we say all possible outcomes of a random phenomena or random experiment it is called the sample space. For example, if you are tossing a coin suppose we denote that random experiment by this abbreviation R e. Suppose the random experiment it is tossing a coin. So, what, will, what are the possible outcomes of this random experiment? It may be head or tail, these are the possible outcomes. All possible outcomes of this random experiment it is known as sample space. Let us consider another random experiment, suppose this is random experiment. Second example, suppose throwing a die or rolling a die suppose you are rolling a die then what are the possible outcomes s is equal to all possible outcomes suppose you are denote the sample space s1 here sample space s2 this is the set of all possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 it seems like sample space contains always finite number of elements this is like a abstract these are not real number head and tail these are some integer values it may take any real numbers also it may not be discrete for example let us consider the random experiment of uh, lifetime of a electronics group suppose it is transistor so, lifetime of a electronics goods or you can consider very simple bulb suppose, lifetime of a electronics goods. So, lifetimes means we are measuring suppose you consider one bulb and we want to see how many years or how many hours in some units. It, it is actually if you consider properly time, time is a continuous variable, it may be any point in the real line, but we can make suppose hour or minute then it will be discretization. But if you consider theoretically, it will be any time in the real line, it may last. So, we will see that how, how many times, how, how much time t, t uh, it is actually working. So, after that it fails. So, this sample space it will it can be represented at as by a real number t such that see that initially if you buy the bulb and then just immediately it is not working then the lifetime will be 0. So, it is possible that theoretically it may be 0 otherwise it is greater than 0 and we will we do not know how long it will continue we do not know is, is there any maximum limit that it will be it can be working it can work other more than m it is not possible we do not know that much value. So, that is why theoretically we write that this is t is the time lifetime of a bulb it is t belongs to the real number such that t is greater than equal to 0 and less than infinity. So, here the sample space it is uncountably. So, we know that countable set and uncountable set. So, countable set means any set if you have a subset of a natural number a is a subset of a natural number. Natural number means you know that the set of natural number we denote by 1, 2, 3 like this a is a subset of natural number, if you have a 1 1 correspondence. So, a may be whole natural number also all, all set of natural number. If you have a bijective correspondence from g uh, a to some this set s, then s is known, s is known as. So, g is g is 1 1 or we say that 1 1. If there is any 1 1 correspondence to a to s, 
uh, it has to be 1 2 also or in other way we can say that if there is a 1 1 corresponding to S to A, A is a subset of a natural number either it may be whole natural number or it is a subset of a natural number. If there is a 1 1 correspondence S to A or there is a bijective also if you consider. Uh, so, if, if you consider S to A and A is a subset of natural number, if there is a G is 1 1 function exist then S is known as uh, countable set. It may be infinite. So, for example, natural number itself is a countable because 1 goes to 1 it is a bijective function and 1 1 and if you consider Q, Q is a set of rational number that means all the uh, element it can be represented by P by Q by Q by Q form Q not equal to 0, P and Q are integers. Then this is also uh, note that Z natural number J set of integers like cont containing uh, 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2 like this negative and positive number including 0. This is there is also 1 1 correspondence between Z and natural number. So, similarly uh, Q also we can uh, we know that it is there is a 1 1 correspondence between Q and uh, set of natural number. If it is a finite number it is also a countable number because you can give because A is a subset of the natural number. So, you can take this subset and then we can show that just a identity map it is a 1 1 corresponding from the set to the subset of the natural number. So, this is also a countable set. So, these are all countable set, but whenever we cannot represent we do not have this kind of 1 1 correspondence between the set to that subset of natural number then it is uncountable set for example, set of real numbers. So, it con real number is nothing but rational union all the irrational numbers. So, now uh, even if you consider this interval 0 to 1, so in the real line you consider all the points in between 0 to 1 this is a uncountable set. So, 0 to infinity this is also a uncountable set. So, sample space may be countable set sample space may be uncomfortable set also it may be finite, it may be countable infinite or it may be uncountable infinite. So, this is the sample space. Next we will discuss one of the important topic that is known as an event. So, what is event that is because later on we will discuss probability of a event. So, that is why it is it should be uh, understood very clearly that many times we just say for as a layman it is nothing but a subset of a sample space. So, if S is a discrete you can consider all subsets of the set it is nothing but the event we discuss event. So, here it is any subset of the sample space S is called the event even whenever S is a discrete set then S this is the Venn diagram e is the event. So, for example, if you consider the random experiment, first random experiment tossing a coin then uh, in this experiment the sample space S 1 contain head and tail. So, what are the subsets we can consider? Subset are one subset like head another subset like tail, null set also subset of S, S itself also considered as a subset of S. So, containing all these subsets, all subset of S. So, note that if it is a finite set, then all subsets we can count if the set number of elements in S is suppose n, then we say it is called a power set. So, we denote like suppose it is like a script A. Power set is nothing but all subsets. So, the power set we say power set A is defined by the set of all 
subsets of S. If you consider set of all subset of S, it is known as power set. If number of elements in S is n, then the number of so note that this this notation just we for simplify for a short type of writing we say it is a number of number of elements in the in the power set power set is 2 to the power n. So, here you can see that S 1 it is containing only 2 elements then the power set contains all the subsets of S it contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 to the power of square 4 elements. So, this is the relationship with power set and the uh, set a finite set if it is infinite then 2 to the power infinite it is not a number. So, then we cannot say that, but if S is countable then the power set also will be countable, but if S is uncountable. So, then this power set we cannot say that it is countable if it is infinite set and then uh, it is this power set if you consider. So, it will be huge. So, that is we represent by some cardinal number. So, this cardinal number we say that. So, same we are saying that suppose this there is a netness and that eta is a cardinal number of a natural number, then all the uh, sets having same cardinal number that will be like a countable set that is a 1 1 correspondence. Whenever there is no 1 1 correspondence like there is no uh, from that set to natural number there is no 1 1 correspondence. So, then uh, we represent that like set of re real number this cardinal number we represent by it is just a notation the 2 to the power of eta more some to understand is a bigger set because infinite set we cannot just compare by the number of elements finite set we can compare like this set uh, this set is bigger than this set because it contains four elements this contains only two elements we can compare but infinite set so when the set of natural number it also infinite set set of rational rational number it is also infinite set we cannot compare because both are infinite so but by some bijective correspondence by some concept of one one mapping like that so, we can have some kind of uh, concept that eta is a cardinal number of natural number all countable sets should have like same cardinal number there would be because there is a 1 1 correspondence with natural number. And then whenever we will go to uncountable number like set of rational number sorry set of real numbers it has countable uh, this has a cardinal number 2 to the power eta these are some of the uh, concept it is not that much required here. So, we will discuss the related things uh, event is a subset of a sample space. So, it is a event this is also event. So, we say A this is a event B is a also subset of a uh, sample space it is event. So, let us discuss another example random experiment is suppose second example this is uh, rolling a die. So, then our sample space content 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, here uh, this power set of S 2 this will contain many subsets. So, 2 to the power of 6. So, some of the subsets suppose I am representing here may be 1, may be 2, may be 1, 2, 3, may be 2, 4, 6, 1, 3, 5, 3, 6, some of the subsets. Suppose let us consider this subset A is equal to 2, 4, 6, it is a subset of A 2 uh, sorry subset of S it is belongs to A 2 power set. So, this is a it is nothing but all the event numbers. So, when we say that this event occur, so we are throwing a die and do we observe that because only one observation it will come out of all the possible outcomes. 
it is it will not observe all the point in a event one observation. So, suppose S is a observation in S 2. So, this S is equal to suppose 2 only 2 observe 2 means it is a even number. Now, if this S belongs to the set the subset of S that we are considering then we say that then we say sorry say A is occurred or A is observed. A is happened we can say. So, that means the event A happened or A is uh, the event A is happened. So, whenever we see that because whenever you are see that 2 observed then 2 is belongs to A then A is observed. So, 4 also for 4 also A is observed for B 6 also A is occurred. So, now if you see that S is equal to 1 suppose it is happened. So, but you are throwing a die and the you see that in the top phase of the die is 1, S does not belongs to A. So, A is not occurred. So, we say that the event does not it not occurred. So, that is the some concept that how event we define and now if you consider the second third random experiment, this random experiment is nothing but lifetime of a measuring the lifetime of a electronics goods like bulb. Now, in that case what is the sample space? This is equal to all t belongs to the real number t is greater than equal to 0 less than infinity. It is a uncountable set. In that case if you consider the power set that means all subset of S3 there will be a problem. So, researcher or scientific communities. So, they found that whenever they try to discuss that all subsets of S3, all subset of S3 if you consider as the event like power set look so A3, all subsets of S3 then we will face problem defining probability. So, in a broader sense like in a advanced probability you may learn that that is called a major theory. So, in the major theory if you define major, so here we will define the probability on the subsets like events. Then whenever it is a uncountable set, if it is a countable set or discrete set then this is ok you consider all power set. But if it is a uncountable set, we cannot consider count uncount uh, power set. The, if you consider power set, then you cannot define the probability. It will be uh, there will be some. Uh, it will not be well defined. So there will be some contradiction. It can be shown, but we will not go through in that direction. We will just understand that whenever it is not discrete the set is continuous uncountable set we need to define some special subsets not the all subsets. We have to consider a class of subsets of S the sample space that is known as the that is known some name it is given it is called a sigma field. So, that all the elements inside that sigma field known as events not the all subsets. So, that what is the definition? First we will discuss the definition of field. What is the definition of a field? So, let, let S be a non-empty set. A class C of subsets of S is called a field if it contains S itself and is closed under the formation of complements and finites in them. So, field is defined like that. Let let S be a let S be a non empty set a field of S is a class of 
subsets of S that means it is a collection of, so it is, it is a, a class C of subset of S, a class, a field of S is a class C, it is denoted as C. subsets of waves satisfying this the following following conditions. So, a class C of subsets of S satisfying the following conditions. So, what are those conditions? One is that S will be belongs to C. Second is that uh, if A is a subset such that A is belongs to C, implies the complement also belongs to C. See that A complement belongs to C. And third condition is that if A1, A2, all are A1, A2 belongs to C that means both are subset implies A 1 union A 2 belongs to C. So, finite union it will be, so it is known as field. So, now basically uh, important is that we need to know sigma field, sigma field is just a extra one condition that it is required, sigma field is not, it is not nothing but what is whatever it is field it has to be field not only that this what this condition was that it is finite union, here it is a countable union. So, we will discuss some of the example. So, what is sigma field? Sometime it is known as sigma algebra. Some of the books it mentions, uh, mentioned uh, sigma algebra, some of the book you will find it is, it is uh, discussed as a sigma field. Sigma field is not, it is defined as let S be a non empty set a class C of collections of subsets of S. So, a class C of subsets of actually I am just writing extra collections. So, class C of C of a class C of subsets of S is said to be sigma field, C said to be said to be. If the if it satisfies the following, it satisfies the following conditions. So, what are the policy conditions? So, whatever field those conditions, so this S also has to be in C. Second if A belongs to C implies A complement also belongs to C and third property is this is the extension of the field that is called sigma field. If the countable collection, countable collection like this belongs to C implies A 1 union A 2 union A n union like this. So, this is countable infinite collection of subset of S that is belongs to C, if it is belongs to C that also this union also belongs to C. So, this is known as sigma field or sigma algebra. Now, note that if it is a some collection uh, some class of subset of S it is a uh, sigma field it will be a it is it must be a uh, field also, because you can see that any finite union suppose if you consider finite union. So, then let, let us take the it will make it infinite. So, suppose I want to see that A 1 A 2 belongs to C, just then because the infinite collection it is in the third property it is saying that it is belongs to C. 
let us consider this collection. So, this is an infinite collection like countably infinite a 1 a 2 a 3 is phi a 4 is phi. So, then this is nothing but just only a 1 union a 2 and now because of the third properties in the sigma field it is an infinite union this must be belongs to C. So, hence uh, for a finite union also a 1 union we can see that belongs to C. So, this must be a field. Let us discuss some of the example. So, for example, suppose you consider suppose a sitch uh, head and tail suppose random variable uh, random experiment we are considering first example tossing a coin. So, sorry tossing a coin the sample space S 1 is nothing but head and tail. So, we do not want to, so whether power set will be a sigma field because power set contains all the element the complement S also belongs to the power set any uh, subset you consider their co complement will be subset of S and that is will be inside the power set that will be a inside the S and now if you consider uh, some countable union countable elements uh, of the uh, power set that means those are subset of S if you take the union of all our subsets so it will be inside S. So, power set will be a sigma field, but we are not interested to power set because uh, if it is an uncountable set S is an uncountable set then power set uh, will face difficulties to define the probability. So, let us define some of the uh, sigma field that is not a power set. So, let us consider suppose you consider uh, here uh, it is uh, just lay a is nothing but h. Now, just I want to check one collection just it contain this s 1 and a whether it will be a sigma field see that it belongs to S 1. So, first condition is satisfied S 1 is belongs to C. Second condition is that A belongs to C, A complement has to belongs to C, but A complement is nothing but tail. So, A is not inside C. So, then it is not a sigma field. Hence, what we will do to make it sigma field we will uh, what we will do we will add some of the some of the sets inside. So, let us take the union of the A complement also. So, that is nothing but the tail sorry this is the tail union of tail also. Then our set become also uh, S 1 complement phi also here you, you include phi is always there. So, then our C become nothing but here in this case it become again power set. So, this is nothing but head then tail then this is S 1 head tail then phi. So, then if you include all this set then you can see that it is a it is a uh, sigma field because A belongs to C then A complement is tail this belongs to C you take any element because countable here only 4 elements. So, only finite things we have to check then you can make it union of other like a phi. So, then uh, for any infinite collection also this is true for any if you have if you, if you make it in an infinite collection adding some sets like phi phi like this. So, then you can see that this will be in the C. So, this will be a sigma field, but it is a power set again it is coming, but what we did this kind of operation like whenever it is not a sigma field. So, what we are doing we are adding some of the sets to make it sigma fields. So, subset of S to make it sigma field this kind of process it is known as sigma field generated by the set. So, we will take a collection. So, let us consider second example random experiment suppose this S 2. So, this is throwing a die So, in that case S 2 contain 1 2 3 4 5 and 6. Now, let us consider A is nothing but 1 and 2 and uh, okay. suppose B is nothing but 
3 and 4 and C is nothing but 5 and 6. If you take this collection, so here C is there, so we take a different notation. Suppose F is the class of subset of S2 containing S2 itself A, B and C. Let us see that whether it, is, it will be a sigma field. So, uh, condition 1 S2 belongs to F, condition 2, so it is important. So, A is 1, 2, so A complement will be 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is not there. So, what we will do? We will add this set. So, so this is not a sigma field. First of all, A suppose 1, 2, A belongs to C, F, but, uh, but we see that A complement does not belongs to this collection F. Hence, F is not a sigma field, F is not a sigma field. So, then what we will do? We denote that, suppose then we just say that this is suppose a set H dash here, S is nothing but all this uh, uh, collection like it is A, S2, uh, let us take another notation here, okay, S dash is okay, I think. S2, A, B and C, this is a set, it is not a sigma field we found that. We denote this, so this is nothing but the notion is that sigma field, okay. sigma field generated by this set by S dash. So, what is that? You include many more other sets, those it is required. So, what will be the sigma S dash? Now, S2, A, B, C, they are union, B union C, A union C and they are complement also. That means, A complement intersection B complement because by D Moimer's law, A, A union B complement is A complement, union B complement, B complement intersection C complement, A complement uh, intersection C complement like this you include many more sets so that and then if you take the union also you are considering A union B union C is nothing but H2. So, you will see that uh, after that it will be a sigma field. So, this is called a sigma field generated by set S. Now, let us consider the third example, the random experiment. This is example 3. This is random experiment is nothing but lifetime of a measuring the lifetime of a lifetime of a bulb. So, lifetime of a bulb if you consider then what will be the our sample space? This is T belongs to real number such that T is greater than 0 less than infinity. Now, let us consider one set is like that this is 0 to 1 this set. Now, we want to find the sigma field because only considering this set, suppose your C is nothing but only A, it contains only this subset. So, it is a subset of S3 obviously. Now, if C is equal to A only, it is contains only this set A, will it be a sigma field? It will not be sigma field because A complement is nothing but 1 to infinity, it will not be a sigma field. We will consider a sigma field generated by C. So, this is C. So, this is the sigma field generated by C. So, let us denote by C sigma. So, what will be the set? So, because uh, it has to be sigma field that is why S through has to be inside here, A is already there, then because complement also will be has to be there and the null set is there. Now, you can see that this is this is a, so you can add more sets also, so that it will be a sigma field, but we want to add that many of sets that is becoming just a sigma field. So, it is called a smallest sigma field generated by C, this set C. So, because it, it will be a sigma field because if you consider S3 is belongs to C sigma, second condition is that A belongs to for any element A complement then A complement complement is A. So, that is why any element A belongs to C sigma implies A complement belongs to C sigma. If you take union this is nothing but S3 
if you take intersection this is nothing but phi all belongs to uh, the uh, sigma field. So, any collection also if you consider because there are only finite number of elements. So, that is why any for any collection a 1 a 2 a n. So, if you but because to make it infinite you have to repeat phi and a 1 a 2 take one of the sets. Then union of uh, a i, i is equal to 1 to infinity this countable selection uh, collection also will be inside uh, C, C. So, this will be a sigma field. So, this is some kind of concept of sigma field we discussed. So, uh, this is required whenever we will define the probability this sigma field concept it will be uh, required that is why we discussed it. You may go through in detail some of the books also we refer. So, there you can find more details about uh, this sigma field and some of the examples we discussed. So, please go through it and you uh, see that whether you have understood to get, get the clarity. Now, next we will discuss how these events are defined because this is a subset of a sample space. So, some of the set operations we have to know. So, that is very important some of union intersection. So, maybe you have already learned those things. Since we are